Welcome to my Celestron Skymaster 20 by 80 binocular review. Today I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions of these binoculars, having used them for some time now. And I also wanted to give you a closer look at exactly what they look like and what you can expect. I'm going to be sharing my kind of experience with them and my thoughts on the whole kind of buying process and just what I think of the, of the binoculars. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is the carry case that comes included. Uh, Celestron branded, it's nicely padded, so it provides some good, good padding there. And it also comes with uh, that kind of carry case as well. Now, chances are you want to know the size of these binoculars because you've probably seen uh, a lot uh, online about how they're quite large. And so I do want to show you that now. So if I open up the case, so it's got this uh, Velcro strap here. Um, and then as we can see at the top, there are the eyepieces. You get this little cover uh, to keep those eyepieces um, protected, which is nice. And that simply just kind of pops off like that. That's not kind of connected to the binoculars. Uh, well, at least at this, at this precise moment. So you would need to use a little bit of string or something if you did want to do that. So here are the eyepieces. And what you can do here is you can change the eye relief by simply uh, moving those kind of rubber um, pieces which are on the eyepieces. Um, by default so that's great and if I get them out uh, bear with me it's as you can probably see it's rained here so I don't want to put the case on the ground so I'm just going to put that inside so I've just done that so here we can see the binoculars now one of the striking things to note of on these binoculars is this central kind of piece here and that allows you to mount these binoculars on to a tripod which is to be honest recommended due to their size and weight so if I just hold these out um, you can see their size. So they're quite large, probably larger than your typical binoculars, but there is a reason for that. And that's due to the 20 by 80 optical uh, uh, components of, the, of these binoculars. So 20 meaning 20 times magnification, 80 referring to the optical um, objective lens, I should say. Uh, and that basically allows you to gather more light from the sky or from wherever you're looking. Uh, and it just basically improves the quality of what you're looking at. So yeah, a tripod is recommended. In terms of weight, I, I'm okay every now and again to just hold these. Um, it's, it's, they're good to, to hold for a few moments at a time. Uh, if you are having extended views, particularly of the sky, then that's probably when you're gonna want a tripod. In terms of the tripod adapter, this comes included. It's all kind of set up without you having to do anything. You'll see here, it's almost like a screw. It's very easy to set up, but you will need an adapter to do that. If I just uh, show you, I do have a tripod. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So there's my KNF concept tripod which I use to mount these binoculars on and there is a Celestron binocular tripod adapter that's the one I'm using it's really really effective it's quite uh, it's quite reasonable in terms of cost and you just literally just screw that in and then put it on the tripod it's very very easy so I've got those I just wanted to mention that so onto the binoculars themselves so I really like the kind of build quality they look fantastic a really nice finish um, they're in a lovely kind of color I really liked how they were kind of delivered so really well packaged by Celestron um, there's lots of packaging to keep it, them safe, a lot of padding, um, and everything is Celestron branded, which is really nice, like the outer cardboard box and the inner uh, protection as well is, is, is all kind of all Celestron branded. So I really, really like that. Really well constructed, really durable. Um, I, I wouldn't want to drop them on a, on a patio floor like this, but if you were to drop them on, say, grass, I think they would survive just due to how kind of well built they are. Um, obviously not something I'd recommend, but it's something, it's, you know, it's good to know. Um, I also like how easy they were. These were to use from the outset. Um, so, you know, instructions are provided to change things like the focus dial and things like that. Um, and, you know, I also, these, these came collimated, which was fantastic for me. I have heard reports that some um, buyers, you know, they, they, their binoculars were out of collimation, but Celestron offer a really, really good support service. So if yours were, and you didn't want to try and collimate them, them yourselves, then you could send uh, your binoculars back and uh, Celestron will sort those out for you. They'll either send you a new pair or they'll do it for you on behalf and you'll get your binoculars back quite quickly. So that's really good to know as well. So I like all that about these binoculars. So what have I been able to see? Well, these binoculars are great for both terrestrial and astronomical viewing. So in terms of, you know, terrestrial, uh, I really like to um, watch, you know, uh, birds and stuff like that. But because of the quality of the optics and the, the, the strength of them, if you like, um, you could even see kind of insects on distant trees. I have done that in the past. So yeah, that just goes to show how kind of powerful they are. In terms of astronomically, uh, I've been able to observe Saturn's ring and Jupiter's moons. Um, they are visible with a good focus. Uh, the ability to view stars of up to plus eight magnitude. 
even in light polluted areas uh, is, is been great. So I live in, a, in an area that is a little bit light polluted. Um, so that's really, really good as well and good to know. Um, I've seen some absolutely amazing three dimensional views of the moon, um, including the ability, I've, I think I've discerned Apollo, uh, the landing sites, which has been absolutely amazing. So yeah, I love it. Uh, the visibility of various deep space objects like the Andromeda Galaxy and Orion Nebula are just like, some other kind of um, things I've been able to, to see, which have been absolutely breathtaking. Um, so yeah, who would I recommend these binoculars for? Well, any astronomy enthusiast like me, um, you know, especially if you want that kind of powerful magnification without the, um, you know, the bulk or the, the setup or anything pertaining to a telescope. If you want binoculars um, to kind of, instead of a, a telescope, these are great for that. Um, also anyone who wants a kind of combi pair, so wants a binoculars for astronomy and terrestrial, these are a great kind of combination. Um, they're also great for eyeglass wearers due to that eye relief there uh, that I was kind of discussing. Anyone who's in an urban setting with light pollution, these are great for, for that as well. Um, and, and anyone who wants to kind of, um, you know, pair these with other kind of astronomical um, equipment as well, such as a tripod, is great for that. Um, and yeah, at a great price, I think they're great for, for what you get. Um, I didn't show you the actual um, optics. They come with this, um, these uh, protectors, so that's really good to know as well. Um, so yeah, it's all well protected. I love all the little features like the Celestron branding. So yeah, I would recommend these to anyone getting into astronomy, doesn't have the biggest budget, um, or as I say, wants to pair it with terrestrial viewing as well. Um, so yeah, ultimately, I'm really impressed with the 20 by 80 Celestron Skymasters, uh, and I would strongly recommend them.